you want to have a conversation with them because they haven't been really putting the same effort as you are. You feel that you are just dangling and really like going nowhere. And you want someone who's stable, someone reliable, someone that you can have a future with. So right now you're reassessing the situation. What is, you know, what is in this relationship that benefits you? Now, they refuse to talk to you right now and acknowledge the connection because they feel that you're being emotional and that you just want things for yourself. So then, of course, you're just like, well, you know what? I'm fine being single. Then they come begging, thinking about you, thinking about their action. But it's too late. You're already upset. You're already not in the mood. Concerns, welcome to my channel. This is your 30-second reading. <laughs> You're live in 30 seconds, right? Oh, if I didn't get in the first 30, did I even do a good job? So let's see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. So, Knight of Swords, so we're going to go for your side and your person. We're going to see. Okay. Um, Knight of Swords, Two of Wands, and the Hangman. There's a part of you right now in this relationship that you just don't understand anymore. You're trying to like contemplate and think about it. The more that you think about it, the more it doesn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. The hangman is like, you have given it all. You compromise, you really wear there. The hangman is like, I'll do anything. Because hangman for me is a compromising position because life is upside down. You've turned your whole life, you know, just so that you guys can work the situation. But then, hmm. Did they though? Did they help you? I don't think so. With the King of Coins here and the Ten of Coins, look at that. Either they're stealing, I don't think they're stealing money from you, but with the Ten of Coins, either they're putting effort or you're the one putting the effort. So which is one? Which is which is it really? Because now you're weighing the situation with a Justice card. Okay. Justice card and the Ten of Coins. Like, what do I do here? I'm in this situation right now, and I just want to make a good, uh, a good choice. You know, I don't want it where making this decision, you know, would lead to failure. I want it where it's cut dry. You know, I don't lose, I don't gain. I meet them halfway. Does it work? It works. You want to have some sort of clean hands here. So you're, you're that kind of person. I don't want to live bad blood. I don't want to have no enemies. You know. I want things to be okay. If it's not, okay, you know. Uh, you're nice, you're a kind person. You got a five of coins here and the moon card. What you're asking from your person is to see you, right? Can be meeting, can be conversation. Five, five of coins with the moon. Now, right now, I don't sense that you guys are in a talking stage. It's more of like avoidance stage. Six of Wands and the Five of Cups. I feel like you got a bad rep and you got a blame here. Because the Five of Cups is here. You're contemplating, it's like, did I do anything wrong? Why is this person treating me this way? Okay, so you're in that, uh, what about, is that introspection? I think it's called introspection, right? So Five of Cups is like, I'm gonna go within, I'm gonna try to um, understand myself and figure, you know, what's, what's really going on. Okay, with the Five of Cups and the Six of Wands. With the... Four of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, you're praying and wishing. It's like, I hope they would listen to me. I hope they would talk to me. You know, so there is this cloud right now, animosity between the two of you. And I don't sense that you're mad. I don't sense that you're upset. I sense that Knight of Swords over here is like, I just want to address the truth. Where is it going? And if, you know, if they really want to have a connection with me. Okay, let's see. Your oracle here is showing that you're going with the flow. You know, for you, um, you're just pretending. I have to say that. You're pretending that everything is fine. You're pretending that this situ whole situation is manageable. But in reality, Concern, I feel like you're very sad with the Five of Cups. I feel like you feel very left out by your person and how they have treated you. And you feel like it is not fair. It is not fair on your side. Oh, wow. They also like to pretend. So the two of you are ignoring each other. Okay, there is the stork and there is this one. So the two of you, this is like wearing a mask, like pretending it's like you belong to a tribe, 
Meaning your person is going to do something in their life and you're going to do something in your life. It's more of like a pretend, you know. Like I'm fine and then they're also pretending they're fine. Now there are concerns here who's manifesting some sort of gains in business or transaction. Legal matters with the justice card. Ten of Pentacles. You can be closing a deal if it's not legal matters. Signing a deal. Ten of Pentacles gives you a lot of money. A lot of money. The justice is like a payoff. That's what I'm seeing here. Like you could be getting pay off, but this is for your service also because this is a trade. You may have a business. Remember, Seventh House Libra is business partnership, not just marriage. It's actually a promise that has been made. So there is a trade over here. The trade. Now... In my career, my career, yeah, and well, in my life, I would like to call it, because uh, my whole life is really about business. Um, there was a time where I was more focused on really getting that that money bag, the coins, and a specific crystal always has been there for me. Here are three ways that citrine can empower you today. Citrine is commonly used in feng shui to attract wealth and success. It is an affordable substitute for yellow sapphire, which is connected to planet Jupiter, the planet of luck and growth. Citrine also helps to improve self-confidence and reduce anxiety, which has helped me and so many others during our most difficult times. Start your journey to wealth and inner beauty with Idrit Love's handmade citrine bracelets available now. Okay, so yes, yeah, so citrine, let me show you guys this when it's up close, is the key. Now, for me, with crystals, Try it. You don't want to try it. <laughs> so I just wanted to share how it has helped me. I mean, hello, front of my house, same thing, the store, all about citrine. You know, it never hurts to try, <laughs> okay? Because it elevates your vibration. I mean, like, who says no to money anyway? <laughs> That's my question. Does it bring you luck and opportunities and success and removes anxiety and you attract more good things in life? Yeah, I don't want to try it. <laughs> okay. So it's in the description box below, guys. Okay, it's made to order, handmade by me. Today's the last day to order this because it goes in a batch. Okay, let's see here. All right, um, next thirty days. So you're um, dismayed by their action. You can't. Uh, you don't understand what they're doing, and you're right now. You're you're saying to yourself, you're like, I I can't believe what they've done to me. So. Mm -hmm. Next 30 days between you and your person. Very crucial because without, you know, like the 30 days, like you may be making a big decision in life, moving, relocating, travel, going back to school, getting a new job. You know, 30 days is a lot, you know. So if you are dangling and waiting for this person, that 30 days is a, a life-changing, well, you know, a month basically. That's how, I, that's for me, it's like 30 days is enough, you know. Work it, don't work it, 30 days, you know. Let's see, your foreseeable future and what's their action. We need to know what they're going to do and that way we stay ahead. Oh my god, we can't be played by these people. In the age where Tarot is everywhere, it's easy to date. <laughs> Easier, only if you want to follow the guides though. Some people don't, okay. King of Coins and the Ten of Pentacles, career, success, yes, business, yes, promotion, yes. Oh, and codependent relationship, yes. The devil is here, considering Capricorn, your seventh house. Two of swords with the six of cups. Ooh, they got a sun card. It, nine of cups, okay. I see that your person loves to drink. A little bit Pinot Noir, Pinot Grigio. Mm -hmm. Likes to get some sort of attention, goes out and have some party. And this is where you feel kind of like left out and upset. Because you have the Five of Cups and the Sun card. They left you. When, they say, when I say they left you, it's like they do things on their own. They're happy and all these things that, you know, basically a person or you think that they're doing. Like, oh, they're more happier now. You know, that's what you're saying. But I don't think so. That's, uh, that's being salty right there. Concerned. Two of Swords here with the Six of Cups. Because you miss them. You long for them. There is some addictive behavior that I'm seeing here with the Six of Cups and the Devil. You're having a hard time um, letting go of the person. You're having issues right now, um, basically in this relationship, making you feel that, let me see here, makes you feel that, ugh, like, why do I want to be with them? Even though clearly this person is giving me some sort of mixed signals. They have the Nine of Pentacles, like they claim that they want to be single. The Nine of Cups, sorry, and then they have the Nine of Pentacles, but there's this big offer, a message. The sun and the ace of pentacles, this is a message coming towards you. Very positive right there. Because as above, so below, this is right now saying, it's like something. 
that you expect on your phone. They might call, they might text with the Five of Pentacles. Let's see what's that message for you and if that's even going to happen, if it's going to manifest. The sun is a good news, but it is also a new life, a new face. Maybe that's what they're saying. You have the sun and the moon over here. Everything done in the dark is about to come to light. Six of Cups, the reconciliation. The, the devil over here, the codependency, but there could also be something behind the scenes that you don't know that is happening right now. They're hiding a secret. Okay, we're gonna go for your card of focus. And don't forget, today's the last day, guys. Link in the description box below. I don't need to tell whoever is meant to have a citrine in their life who wants to try it. I feel like you already know who you are, the one I'm talking to. So here we go, let's see your card of focus for the Cancerian. Wow, your focus is, okay, hold on. You have Libra, Capricorn, Gemini, okay, you got Virgo, you got Pisces, again, uh, Leo, Leo over there, you got Taurus, and then here is a Leo. So your card of focus, uh, Cancerian, is the part that you want to be bold, be courageous. You're not backing down, not that you want them, you just, uh, the strength card is having the ability either to say yes, say no. That's a strength right there. Um, the strength card is also being regal and royal. The strength card is pursuing something that you want, that you desire, and not giving up. That's why it's strength. The strength is trying to tame the inner beast, which means like you're not going to come to your person with this whole five of cups, meaning you're not going to be salty about this. You're not going to be emotional about this. You're trying to face your fear of communicating with them, but in reality, you're waiting for them to start and initiate that uh, conversation first because they have the five pentacles in the moon. They haven't been really revealing themselves to you. Well, let's find out. Link in the description box below for the extended reading. I'll answer all of your questions. Let's work together there.